so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I wanna get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Mushroom surprise. You try, no? No, thanks, Miss Mush. We're just going to the cafeteria to finish our essays. We're writing about what we want to be when we grow up. I know what I'm going to be. Real Extreme! An extreme action star! You're going to see me blading across the desert, getting air over an iceberg, grinding on a volcano. Only three words in my essay. Action, action, action! Ooh, pony-headed girl have big future. What rest of you say? I'm gonna be class president. Class president of the universe! <laughs> At least until I find an even more important job. Well, I'm going to invent a new, more efficient language. Everyone in the world will speak numbers instead of words. Uh -huh. 79, 13, 11, 28, 5. 107, 12, 46, 81. Isn't that just so 34, 72, 8? <laughs> Enough with the 42, 9! Um, I'm actually considering many careers, like maybe a dentist. Aha! You still not decide? Well, not really, but... Good! You need help! <laughs> What's that about? Kids! Good news! I become career counselor! You try, no? Miss Mush, weren't you just trying to feed us Mushroom Surprise? Yes, but now I tell future career! Really? How do you do that? I feed you mushroom surprise. Look! I see future in stains on bowl. It like reading tea leaves, but with mushroom surprise. Boy who eat this, he become fireman. This girl, she doctor. This guy, he get the crazy man job. Oh boy! Hmm. Ah. Stupid machine! Oh. Hmm. Something oddly familiar about this disgusting stain. I'll have to ask Miss Mush about this. You try, yes? No, I'm okay, Miss Mush. Thanks. Todd, you don't care about future? Let me try. What? That's right. Miss Mush, I'll have one steaming hot bowl of the future, please. But you already know your future career. Yeah, and it's so super cool, isn't it? I just want to be absolutely sure that's what I'm going to do. Maricia, that's mushroom surprise. Relax. I'm not actually eating it. Fluffy. You know what to do. Mmm, yummy yum. Ooh, you eat fast. More? Nope, just my future career, please. So, what's it say? Will I become one of the greatest extreme heroes ever? 
Or just a minor superstar with a loyal following? Hmm. Hmm? I see here excitement. Yes? Action! That's me! Oh, you definitely become... Tell me, tell me! Milkmaid! A milk what? Milkmaid! You girl who go around milk the cow! It's super fun! Yeah, super fun. So, who knows? Once you try it, you might like being a milkmaid. Here, cow. Come on, boy. Time to, you know. Huh. <sighs> My life, it's so over. I might as well give up now. Just think of this as research for your essay. And hey, you might even enjoy it. Doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Miss Mush wants to tell me if I'll get the career I want. Good luck. Ugh. If this is going to be my slow, sad, boring, pathetic, cow-milking life, I'd better get used to it. Ugh. Come on. You know the deal. Just fill it already, Kate. You so don't want me to actually try milking you. Okay, fine. But this is going to be just as boring for you as it is for me. Hey, get back here! Nice try, but you've never met a milkmaid like me. Ready to fill this yet? You know, that career does sound better than being president of the universe. Thanks! Next! Miss Mush, you got a big fat spider behind you. What? Hmm, oh, I thought I'd cook all of those. Mm -hmm. Done. My future career, please. Well, I gotta say I appreciate a challenge. But face it, you'll never outrun these wheels. is hooping it harder. Miss Mush, what's the meaning of this? Oh, that. Eat your future career stain from the last time you eat here. What? Well, that can't be. This stain looks like... like a... You? Principal of Wayside. No? Mm. Can we try that again? Maybe go for a different career. Something that truly reflects the razzle-dazzle dynamo that is me. Sure. Why not? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! A little spicy! <laughs> You're mine now, cow. Myron? What? I was hungry! There's nothing to eat in that cafeteria. Hey, what's with the booby traps? I'm trying to catch me a cow. What are you guys doing here with those pails? Duh. We dumped our bowls out, too. And had Miss Mush read our fortunes. Yeah, you think you're the only one with a career in the milk industry? And you looked like you were having so much fun. Really? But wait. Miss Mush said all of you would milk cows? Why would she do that? Okay. Now what career does it predict for me? Same. You be principal. Oh, no, no, no. Let me try again. Okay, maybe this time I could be an astronaut, or a golf pro, or even a hen bottle. No, you be principal. Hey, I sell out Mushroom Surprise. That never happened before. What? No, that can't be. 
I'm surprised too. Who could predict such a thing as this? Wait a minute. You do predictions, don't you? You're a fortune teller. Yes, of course. But also a good way to get rid of last week's mushroom surprise. You like, no? <laughs> Miss Mush, why'd you tell all of us we'd be milkmaids and milkmen? That what I saw in bottom of bowl. Milk is job. Oh, if only I'd been that lucky. What the problem be? You bring so much milk for Miss Mush. What do you mean? I never got a chance to collect any milk. Neither did we. Then where I get all milk from? I think I know the answer to that question. That explains why I get so many porcupine needles in pies. Ah, uh, I guess I'm not a milkman. What am I going to do with all these promotional pails? Myron, don't feel so bad. What I learned is that whatever job I'll do in the future, I'm going to do it in my own fun way. I will make it my own, just like you did. Whether it's extreme sports or extreme dairy. Or extreme promotion. Or extreme dentistry. Or extreme fun three times six eleven. Or extreme baking. I don't need a fortune teller to tell me what I'm going to do with my life. I already know. My career essay, just four words. Action, action, action. And fun. Yay! Psst. Why don't you whip me up another batch of that mushroom surprise? <laughs> Spicy! And the winner of Wayside's Principal of the Year is... Principal Kidswater! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you all! This is so unexpected! What do you want? Um, Mr. K, did you choose yourself to be Wayside's Principal of the Year again? Yes. Is there a problem with that? Well, don't you think the students should have a say in this contest? The students? The students. You know, all the little people in this building. Oh, them! Yes! They love me! <laughs> Just watch. Show me the love, you whatchamacallits! I have gum in my hair. All right, class. Is everyone prepared for our pop quiz final exam? Pop quiz final exam? Todd, no outbursts, or I'll have to send you home on the kindergarten bus. Uh. Yes, Todd. Mrs. Jules, what are we being tested on? If I told you that... That would be giving you the answers. No cheating, Todd. Does everyone know the rule when we take exams here at Wayside? Oh, I know. Oh, thank you, Dana. <clears throat> no talking during pop quiz final exams. That's correct, Dana. You get to hand out today's exam while I go for a high score. <laughs> This thing's blank. Whatever, let's get started. Psst, Dana, does Mrs. Jules have to do that while we're taking our test? Todd! Do you have to disrupt the class, or would you like me to send you home on the kindergarten bus right now? I can't take that kindergarten bus again. He's so cute. Love. Ow! What the? I think this is yours. I don't want it. Okay, I'll read it to you. What? No, no, no. Mauricia ah. says, no. Dear Todd, I really like you. Give me the note! You don't want to get in trouble, right? So let me just answer the note for you. What? No, you can't do that! Todd! Do you have change for a dollar? Thank you. You're welcome. Todd, 
No talking! I think that's great, Mauricia. I really like you, too. Side Todd. Hey, I never write that. I think Todd would say something like, and the Eric's rule. Uh -huh. Ow! How about, I love all Eric's. They rock! Todd loves the Eric's. If Mauricia hears that, she's going to have a hissy. Oh, Todd. <laughs> wow! should have written was this. <gasps> oh, wow. No, like this. I think more like this. <laughs> Mr. K? <laughs> they didn't even stop to hug me. That's because they heard the bell and were running to class, Mr. K. No, that's not it. Yes, it is. Happens every day. No, they, they, they don't like me. Oh! <laughs> Make the whatchamacallits like me! Um, <laughs> be nice to them? That's it! How about I bribe them? Now that's the plan! <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh, class, I need a break from all this teaching. So, stay in your seats and finish your tests. Or else! See you soon, class. Dana, where's the note? Ahem. Well, Todd, it started out on Mauricio's desk and was thrown at you. But you missed it and it got passed between the Eric's and then on to me, then Myron, desk to desk, student to student, until it finally ended up back on your desk where it has been sitting for the last four minutes and 35 seconds. <sighs> Dear Mauricia, the days grow longer every second I'm without you. But I still love the Eric's more than you. As I gaze at you from across the room, one thing enters my mind. Myron is the best. Your feet are smelly. You smile like a jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> I didn't write any of this. Yikes. Mauricia can't see this. See what, Todd? How much you love me? Todd, did you just throw a million little pieces of paper up in the air? Uh, um... These million pieces are actually mine, Mrs. Jules. I'll take care of them. Phew. Wait, what do you mean by that? Yikes! Huh? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're playing hard to get. me tilt. What is the meaning of this? It's my, uh, test paper. I'm just handing it in. Oh, very well then. Let's see how you've scored. Now I know how to win over the whatchamacallits. Mr. K, I think you're overthinking this. Nonsense. I'm the principal of this school. I never think. I dream of amusement park rides and free ice cream every day. They've got to like me then. I'm pretty sure the kids like you already. Whoa! Yeah, right. I'm gonna need that in writing. Until then, roller coaster here, bumper cars here, cotton candy everywhere! Yes, that should make them like me. Whoa! You've capitalized love correctly. Oh. But I'm not so sure that's how you spell smelly feet. <laughs> what else does it say? Well, he compared you to a pumpkin. What? That's actually a compliment. No, it's not. B minus. 
I would have given you a better grade, but you made Mauricia's nose too long in this drawing. Let's see! No! I'm finally done Wayside World. The kids will love me after they get a load of this fun-filled extravaganza. Hmm, maybe I should have made this thing bigger. Whoa, 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 whoa! There it is! What's the meaning of this? Why aren't you in class? Well, uh, you see... What's this? The name's been torn off, and it's got hearts all over it. That's because it's a love note from... From our entire class. For me? Really, it is. See all the different handwriting? jack o lantern smile. Why, yes, I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> this must be about me. Actually, Mr. Kid Swatter. Please, Mauricia, I'm already in trouble. If they find out I had anything to do with that note, I'll be riding that kindergarten bus home forever. Okay. But only if you do something for me. Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, yes. They even notice my smelly feet. The children do love me after all. No need to turn the school into an amusement park with cotton candy everywhere. What amusement park? Oh, nothing. Just some silly idea I had before I knew how much I truly meant to all of you. Wait a minute. Did you say cotton candy everywhere? <laughs> There's no cotton candy. Hello. Lewis, get rid of the cotton candy! And now I'm just gonna put this love note from you, whatever call it, where I can see it all day long! They love me, they love me, they truly, truly love me! Oh, Todd! Remember that thing you promised me before? Yes, I remember. You want me to write you a new note. But the thing is, I didn't even write you the last one. Don't worry. We'll help you again. Dearest Mauricia, you are so extreme. <laughs> and almost as popular as Myra. Oh, 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 And the oh. Eric's rule. Yeah. Oh, 